During the time of preparation for my GCSEs, I decided to explore the iceberg of music. And long story short, I've discovered some pretty weird genres of music. Some are pretty cool, others are awful, and some have potential. However, there's one thing about EDM which I've always found very intriguing and very stupid at the same time. Subgenres. On the one hand, it's interesting to see the many ways of expressing a single genre. On the other hand, it's ridiculous how pathetic some of the excuses are to warrant a new subgenre. So in what I guess is a continuation of the art series, I'll go through some subgenres which exist for the stupidest reasons. And by the way, just to clarify, I'm not simply going to bash on the weird genres that exist, because that would be too easy. I'm talking about subgenres, where the difference between them is either minimal or just downright stupid. Anyway, onto the video. Okay, so Nightcore is a pretty difficult genre to make, so let me try my best to explain it, right? Just take a song, any song, whatever genre, doesn't matter. Feed it up a tiny bit, or pitch it up, or both if you want. And boom, you have Nightcore. That's it. Why is this a thing? And why does it have a demographic? Mate, you've literally just sped it up by a maximum of 30%. You could do that in 5 minutes. Like I've seen comments on Nightcore videos saying things like, Wow, your Nightcore is so good. Alright, question. How do you make bad Nightcore? Whose idea was it to take that seriously? Anime Step is a style of dubstep, which is pretty different to regular dubstep, because unlike regular dubstep, with the halftime drums and bass lines, Anime Step is all that, but with anime samples. Alright, so just to point out how ridiculous that is, there's another subgenre of dubstep called Vomit Step, which is dubstep but with a weird croaky bass, right? And some people think that this is a stupid excuse for a subgenre, which is a fair complaint, right? Now bear in mind, dubstep is a bass-focused genre, so whilst a unique style of bass is disputed in a genre about creating unique basses, normal bass, but with anime samples here and there, in a genre of music which typically uses a lot of samples anyway, that's not disputed at all. People take samples from pretty much anything. Why does anime warrant a specific subgenre? And on the topic of anime, within the breakcore scene, some wanker clearly saw anime step and thought it was genius. So decided to make a new subgenre of breakcore, which is breakcore with anime samples. However, they realised that with anime samples, it's obviously not a good enough reason to make a new subgenre. Oh no 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 no, that would be stupid wouldn't it? So as if with anime samples wasn't arbitrary enough, he went one step further and in their new subgenre Lollicore, did something that no other genre does and mastered it too loud. What? That's ridiculous! So in case you don't know what I mean by mastering, you know when you use GarageBand or Ableton or whatever, and the volume bar starts going red? Yet for anyone who's in doubt right, that's not a good thing. That would be like me making a new subgenre of funk, but with the only difference being that everything's out of tune. That would be stupid, wouldn't it? Oh bloody hell man! Hiya. So noise music is pretty much what it sounds like, just noise, and it's already one of the weirder genres of music, right? Now, like I said earlier, if you're into that, you go, girl. What doesn't make sense, however, is the fact that there are literally different subgenres of noise. So there's Japper noise. Not to be confused with harsh noise. Not to be confused with power electronics. Not to be confused with, get this, Christian gore noise. To name a few. Like, what is this? What's the difference? The point of having different subgenres and genres in the first place is so that people can hear more of a specific sound they like. You cannot tell me that people listen to different types of noise and concluded that this was better than this. Okay, so in conclusion, speeding something up doesn't make you special, adding specific samples doesn't make you unique, poorly mastering your song doesn't make you creative, and noise is bloody noise. Stop this nonsense. Let's show them some air power.